Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report documentary series, There Is No Collapse. In our previous video, we ended by, by showing and speaking about low volume events in the market and how to depict and tell when machines are taking over versus human beings. Um, let me just point out first and foremost that we've been in a low volume environment for some time now ever since human beings for the most part have walked away from the markets back in 2008 2009 and now everything's pretty much electronic overall the reason why you can see this situation go down the way it's going down is because when computer algorithms take over a market you tend to see a scenario where you have these large balls these spikes and crashes but you see it normally on low volume if you see a bar like that with very low volume that's the machines taking over that's the um, the ebb and flow supply and demand built in electronic curb in the market to keep the market sustained at a certain level price level they can also move markets so like here we rally and then we and then we came down it was sold okay that's human being human beings in there you can see the volumes are increasing there however when you see it in low volume environments so in a low um, in a low volume environment if you see a large move up or down and low to no volume those are the machines all right that's a pretty easy way to determine what's going on so in the previous videos the charts I showed you with the and I kept saying look at the volume look at the volume well that was it that was an example showing you where the machines were in the market doing what they needed to do and I say machines are really not machine per se it's it's algorithms it's it's all electronic where the markets are being maintained by program all right so vision the matrix all right the matrix is already put together and it sustain it's self sustaining it takes care of itself every now and then you have someone to come in and and do something push the button per se to drive the market up or down but that's about it everything is electronically connected now and that's the point i was driving at there's an electronic connection inter interface in all global markets all right all asset classes I don't care if it's Forex I don't care if it's commodity futures I don't care if it's stock equities doesn't matter options you name it everything is controlled by algorithms and computers okay God forbid something were to happen you could blow up New York the market would still go on you could take out London the market will still go on it doesn't matter name your your financial hub the market will still go on with no problem because it's computer algorithms and they have um, contingency systems uh, all over the place okay so the market is not going anywhere from that perspective okay all right so what about boons busts and crashes and stuff like that okay the reason why you see uh, things happening in you know Argentina Brazil things like that is because this system has already been put in place so it's, it's really easy um, when you when you see how it's going to interconnect with other aspects of your life uh, such as uh, in the previous video I talked about how um, everything has been has been turned over to electronic like medical records now are electronic all right you still have some paper uh, you know files but for the most part everything's being turned over to electronic uh, you have everything you can think of being turned over to electronic from physical paper to electronic um, this process started uh, back in the late 80s when the government rolled out a lot of money to take everything and put it into a big mainframe database those jobs were called data entry and a lot of times we were entering entering data and did not know what data we were entering or what it was for we were just entering data that was one of my first jobs out of high school was data entry and I worked for a company that contract with the federal government 
okay and we were doing things such as data entry entering sensitive data into the computer didn't know what you were entering didn't really know what it was about it was just all types of data that's so we were building the internet without even realizing it we we're building the databases that contain the internet so all that the internet was technically built in the late 80s all right through all the data entry that was going on all right that was one of the, the, the number one jobs data entry okay so moving along someone had asked um, how, what, what do I think about the Shemitah and things of that nature that's that's on a whole different subject all right because that's that's going into um, you know biblical references and looking at God's divine dealings with a nation that's a whole nother topic a whole nother subject so I'm not really speaking on that I'm saying I'm letting I'm sharing what's happening from a natural perspective with man building a electronic infrastructure an electronic grid if you will that's going to eventually not just control the markets but it's going to control every aspect of your life well you won't be able to do anything without being associated with this electronic grid control grid type of a system and they test this system from time to time like what they did with the May 6 2010 flash crash they crashed the market and brought it right back up again these are tests just to see how you know how the infrastructure is holding up and from time to time they have to do that and then of course they explain it away you know bogus news and things of that nature but the fact of the matter is it's all electronic it's all zeros and ones and it can also be used as a weapon to punish other countries and nations when they don't fall in line and do what the IMF and World Bank and powers that be want them to do so if you get out of line with the foreign central bank they just turn off your uh, your digits if you will they push the button and now you don't have you don't have access you're locked out of the account and when that happens it's like freezing someone's assets or something you can't move your digits around to pay you you know your your your, your vendors and things and so then you, everything comes into a standstill the economy still comes to a standstill there's no reason why there should be no food on the shelves of the grocery store in Brazil and Argentina uh, and Venezuela if um, they if, if they have multiple supply chains from various sources they're not beefing with them so why can't they get you know food on the shelf is because the powers that be the ones that control the whole grid have turned off their stuff and so they can't transfer and 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 deal with their other smaller partners that they get stuff from so it's like the partners want to send stuff to them but then they can't because they can't pay their people so in that regard the electronic digits are non-transferable and we'll get more into that later on what does that mean when you say the electronic digits are not transferable and they can be controlled by a central mainframe such as the Federal Reserve well we're gonna get into that don't have time right now but I wanted to answer some of these questions that have been coming up since the, the video so uh, again low volume big moves machines and uh, the computers people can get in there too and add to it but for the most part when you see there's no volume and it's really light and you have a significant move that is the market taking care of itself okay so I just want to put that out there and um, I will do um, the next install installment um, you know Lord willing tomorrow and uh, with that said everyone be encouraged and uh, thanks for for watching and, and supporting the videos and liking and subscribing and all that good stuff everyone be encouraged and have a great day